So, my dear students, we continue working with Unit 3. And we are going to have the second lesson for grammar. And we uh, continue working uh, with models. Let's open our books on page 31. And let's start uh, with the page 151. Here we have got the rules before doing the exercises. Нагадую про те, що модальні дієслова допомагають нам емоційно забарвити наше мовлення і виразити будь-які спроможності наші, поради і так далі. Для кожного модального є своє правило, але є кілька загальних правил, які діють абсолютно для всіх модальних дієслів. Це перше полягає в тому, що ми після підмета ставимо це модальне дієслово, після нього йде інфінітив. Ніякого, ніякого «to» немає, а просто «bear infinity». For example, I can swim. I must uh, keep quiet. Uh, you, should, uh, you shouldn't drink cold water if you have a sore throat. May I go out? Ми утвор... Наступне правило. Ми утворюємо negative sentences and, and questions, використовуючи саме ці модальні є слова. Could you pass me some salt, please? May I go out? Can you swim? Але пам'ятаємо, що є такі модальні є слова, як have to, і uh, have to, відповідно до часу, uh, має дві форми. Have to та has to. Далі, якщо present simple, то um, утворюється речення за допомогою do, does, так, або в past simple за допомогою did. Далі, модальне діє слово can в теперішньому часі – це can, а в past simple could і для future – be allowed to. І є таке модальне діє слово, як ought to, тому що воно є одне, але два слова – ought to. Саме ось це є to – це його персональна фішка, і не треба плутати, що після модальних ми маємо ставити to. Сьогодні у нас така частинка – Додаток, я б сказала, до правил, які ми вже з вами знаємо і вивчили, це deductions about the present. Тобто, коли ми можемо зробити висновок deduction щодо якоїсь дії в теперішньому. When we make deductions, we use different models to show how sure we are about something. Коли ми робимо якийсь висновок, ми використовуємо різні модальні дієслова для того, щоб сказати, показати, наскільки впевненими ми є щодо цього. Must. If we are certain that something is true or is the case, we use must. John must be here. Her coat is hanging up behind the door. Тобто вона точно має тут бути, бо її... Пальто тут висить. Can't. If we are certain about something is not true or is not the case, we use can't. Harry can't be here. His car isn't in the car park. Коли ми кажемо, що цього точно не може бути, бо його тут машини нема на парковці. Could, may, and might. If we think something is possibly true, or may be the case, we use could, may, or might. Keisha could, may, or might be here. I'm not sure because I haven't seen her yet. Let's practice. Let's come back to page 31 in our books. And let's do the first exercise oh, where the task is. To complete the sentences with an appropriate model. Доповнити підходящим модальним. Діє словом відповідно до сьогоднішнього правила. I hope you get millions of viewers on your new video channel. You make a lot of money from it. Might make. Liam's post on Facebook. Be very popular or he'd have more likes. Can't be very popular. I'm not sure what's wrong with my tablet, but this button be broken. Must be broken. 
it doesn't seem to do anything. Today it says that over a million people have watched my video, but that can be right. It was only 10,000 yesterday. Your phone just made a noise. Someone might be trying to contact you. Did Freddy really spend four hours uploading videos? His eyes be tired. Must be tired from looking at screen for so long. The next exercise, two. And the task is to write what you would say in these circumstances. Напиши, що ви зробили у цій ситуації. Ми маємо модальні дієслова, підглядаємо на правила і, будь ласка, у вправі 2 даємо відповіді на запитання. Перше. You are sure that the person in the video isn't Josh because he wasn't here. Це така ситуація. Питання. Is the Josh in your video? Подумайте, яке б модальне дієслово ви тут вжили і запишіть відповіді. Отже, ми маємо п'ять ситуацій, заглядаємо в правило і записуємо. The next exercise, three. The task is to write one word in each gap. Запишіть одне слово в кожному gap. Пропуску. I finally discovered Uvu. I've just discovered Uvu. And if you like me and enjoy messaging friends, this is an app you an app you really like. May like really like. Може сподобається, а може і ні. As with all apps, you download it, must download it before you can actually use it, but it's free, so it doesn't cost anything to give it a try. Uvu can be used for video calls, and I love the fact that with this app, I can chat to up to 12 friends anywhere in the world at the same time. Of course, you prefer, may prefer not to use video while you're chatting. That's not a problem. Using Uvu doesn't mean you use video to chat. Must, так, це не обов'язкове правило. It just means you have the option. You can also make ordinary voice calls and send texts and it's very easy to use. My friend's brother be more than six years old. Can't be more than six years old and he uses it to chat to his grandparents in Australia. Let's have more practice and let's go to our workbook pages with this rule. Page 23, the first exercise. To match, to make sentences. Поєднай, щоб утворити речення. That can't be Ruby over there. Because she's away on holiday this week. That might be Ruby over there. But it's dark and I can see very well. And the last one, it must be Ruby over there. So let's stop and say hello to her. Одне і те саме речення, але різне модальне відповідно до Ситуації. 
And in exercise four, our task is to choose the best model to complete each sentence. Обрати найкраще підходяще дієслово модальне, щоб доповнити кожне речення. This can't, might, or must be Caitlin's channel because her photo is on it and it's called Gates <laughs> GR8. Must be. Так. I don't know for sure, but this can't, could, must be the video Harry uploaded yesterday. Good. Three. It says my video has or had over a million views, but that can't, may, must be right, as I only uploaded it an hour ago. Can't. Four. That can't, might, must be Joel on their video. I mean, it kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Might. Five. It can't, may, must be very enjoyable to make comedy videos as a job. I wish I could do it. Must. And the last one, number six. James spends all of his time watching videos. It can't, could, must be good for his studies. Can't. Let's sum it up. Давайте підведемо підсумок. Today we had the second grammar lesson about modal verbs and we talked about deduction about the present. Не забуваємо робити записи в своїх підручниках і workbooks. Thank you for your working. And і не забуваємо також, що матеріали до уроку додано до класруму. Не забуваємо там потренуватися і виконати все, що там вказано. The lesson is over. Goodbye.